What is up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. This reading here is for my Leo Zodiac sign. Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. If you are new here, feel free to subscribe. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are already subscribed, welcome back, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Of course, just remember this is a general reading, so this may not resonate with you. And if it does, everything may not be for you in this reading. Um, energies are fluid and interchangeable, so they can cross me if you need to. Please flip them. Guys, the first card that went to pop out is the love card, okay? When I mentioned your name. So, we're going to pull that up there. Love card went to pop out. Anything else? Thank you. And we have the animals card. Okay, so. Animals. Okay, and freedom. All right. So, be looking out for any animals that you may be spotting, okay? And make sure you're looking up those signs. I'm sorry, guys. I got to readjust myself here. All right. So, be looking out for those signs, okay? Because a lot of times you... Um, the animals represent signs for us, represents, um, like a lot of times, you know, you get messages from animals when you see them, the fox, the lion, the, um, the birds, the butterflies, I know those are insects, but still, you know, <laughs> okay, so just make it the cats, you know, they say black, a lot of people say black cats represent bad luck, but no, they're actually good luck, okay, all right, so let's clarify this energy here. For you, my Leo, clarify your energy and find out what is going on. Clarify the energy of Leo. Zodiac sign, please. What's going on with my Leos? Thank you. We have Page of Swords. Okay, clarify the energy of Leo. What's going on with Leo? Thank you. Here we go. Here we go. Now we talk. We have Six of Wands, Ten of Wands, and the Empress. Yeah, perfect. So, Page of Swords represents um, some type of message as far as, like, news coming in. Could be, like, legal stuff. Could be paperwork. Could be um, delayed or disappointing news as well. So, like, if you're signing any contracts right now, make sure you're paying attention to the fine print. Things like that. Applications, yada, yada, yada. There may be some hidden messages that you're missing that you may not see. So, make sure you have, like, an extra set of eyes looking over it. Especially right now in this Mercury retrograde that's going on. You're not really supposed to be signing anything. Um, like um, contracts and things like that because, uh, yeah, you know, a lot of ish gets reversed here, <laughs> okay? So we have the Six of Wands, which is victory, success, okay? Promotion, moving forward, praises, you know, upliftment. Ten of Wands, overburdening, overwhelming type of energy, okay? Carrying a, a large load. And the Empress, okay? The Empress represents fertility. It also represents pregnancy, but she also represents giving birth to dreams, situations, finances, relationships, things like that. And the bottom of the deck is Page of Pentacles. Again, there's the Seven of Swords. So the Page of Pentacles represents starting something new. If it's financially, you know, whatever, whatever. Again, make sure you're paying attention because that Seven of Swords energy is behind it. That represents some type of sneaky, deceptive type of energy. So just be careful, okay? I feel like your intuition will pick up on it, okay? The High Priestess. Some secrets will be revealed. So just, again, make sure you're paying attention to those. Let's clarify the page of swords for Leo. Thank you. Clarify the page of swords. Woo. All right. Yeah. Yeah, see, eight of wands and nine of swords. Make sure you're not rushing into anything. And, again, make sure you're paying attention to that fine detail of things here. Because we have the uh, not, what is that? No, eight of wands and, what's that, nine of swords. My bad. I couldn't see it. My big finger, my, pink, my uh, finger was in the way. <laughs> so, Again, make sure you're paying attention to anything that you're signing, things like that, because I feel like it's, one, it's going to be one of those situations where you're going to rush into it, and then um, it's going to have you up later on at night with a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety because it's going to be something that you missed, or you feel like, oh, what did I miss? What did I miss? What did I not pay attention to? So if it's like any test, they're telling me test, okay? So it could be some tests that you may take, things like that. Make sure you're being very cautious and paying attention to things. Maybe double-checking your work here. It has a lot to do with your happiness, okay? The Hanging Man and the Sun card. And then here we are, the Four of Cups, okay? So, again, just make sure you're paying attention. Clarify the Six of Wands. Or if you can, don't sign anything while you're, while you're you know, in this Mercury retrograde. Clarify the Six. Ooh. All right. Don't believe it. Just watch. Okay. We have the Strength card and the King of Cups. Awesome. Courage, faith, okay? Uh, confidence, King of Cups. This could be a commitment towards a relationship, okay? This could be a commitment towards something that you have a lot of love for, uh, something that you could um, 
It really has a lot to do with your creativity. I feel like you're following your mind and your heart here. We have the King of Swords and the Nine of Cups. You're going after your happiness. You're using your intellect. You're thinking it out. But you're also going towards with your heart here. So whatever this is, you've thought it out. You, you're thinking about it to make the decision. But you're also following your heart as far as loving it, enjoying it, that type of energy. Clarify the Ten of Wands here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, there's five of swords and six of swords. So there's an energy of, it's like, man, why did I have to go through all of that? Why did I have to carry that over, that extra load or whatever that is here? Five of swords and six of uh, swords. But although there's the resentment, you're still moving forward, okay? So don't look back on it and regret it. Sometimes, uh, maybe it's one of those situations like, man, I had to do all of that, but I really didn't have to do all that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hey. You know, I took the long way around it. You know, it's one of those type of energies. But I do see you, um, I feel like it's a lesson that had to be learned, okay? Or a situation that you had to go through to get to this point. But I do see you moving forward here um, into calmer waters, into sunnier days, into clarity, all right? We have the Page of Cups and the Moon card on the back. So this could be a love offering coming in here. Could be from a past person now because we have the Six of Cups here. Um, this person could have been uh, keeping this to themselves with the moon being there, could have stayed hidden, okay? Y'all could have went through a situation, maybe um, maybe y'all broke up at one point and they had you doing all this extraness, you know what I'm saying, before they even came through, came forward and were like, hey, I'm interested. Or it could have been a person that you were trying to get their attention, but you felt like they weren't interested, so you were doing extra stuff to try to get their attention, and then you're looking back like, hey, she wasn't even paying attention to all that, or he wasn't even paying attention to all that. It could, it could be one of those situations. So, let's clarify the Empress. And guys, I'm sorry if I'm talking so fast, but um, today, I don't know what it is, but my channeling has been really, really fast. Okay, so like the messages that they're giving me are coming off really, really fast, and I don't want to miss anything, so I have to talk really fast to get the messages out. Okay, so the Empress is clarified out with the Fool. So, okay, there we go, Two of Pentacles. The Fool and Two of Pentacles. So this is a situation that you're taking a leap of faith on, okay? You're putting the energy into it. You're not thinking about it. The Two of Pentacles. This is you finding some type of balance in this situation. Really balancing this out. Here, clarify this energy. You could be working two jobs here. Three of Cups. I'm seeing celebration, ceremony, so um, coming together, celebrating with friends. So whatever this is, you finally figured it out. It's like you've been balancing it this entire time. Maybe you're balancing two jobs or maybe you're balancing another career or, or your career along with another job here trying to uh, really catch hold and get something started off here is what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, you're putting a lot of time and energy into it here is what I'm getting. A lot of time and energy into it, okay? Four of Pentacles and Queen of Swords, you could be cutting people off in the past, really keeping to yourself, maybe saving as well, not spending like you used to, kind of thinking things out. Let's see here. Let's get a, uh, let's pull love and relationship energy here real quick. I do want to pull that. We're going to pull out the romance deck here. So let's see. The animals that I see are a horse, okay? I see an, a horse. I see an owl. I see a lion. A frog, I'm going to say the frog, I get it, it's not a, it's an amphibian, but it's an animal, okay? We have a frog here, what else do we have? We have deer, okay? Dolphin. And all you have to do is just um, look up the meanings of those, okay? Because I'm not really sure. I know the owl represents knowledge. We have, what are those? Let's see if I can see them without my glasses. Sheep. Okay? I know the owl represents wisdom, knowledge, and the late night type of thing, like, uh, working late at night, so you uh, third shift type of energy. Okay. Any other messages as far as love and relationship for Leo? Any other messages for Leo? Let's do one more. Any other messages for Leo? Thank you. Okay, so we have healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. We also have separation time apart from your partners on the horizon. And we have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So, now this could also, the Three of Cups could represent reconciliation, okay? Um, so this could be someone coming back in. Maybe you have a decision that you need to make here with the Two of Pentacles, uh, with this release your ex card coming out here. 
maybe a past person is coming back in wanting to offer you love and you're having to make a decision on do I talk to this new person because this could be love here coming in with the king of cups here this could be new love coming in um, with a very strong connection but um, you could be having to make a decision between love uh, loving your past person or your uh, present person um, the separation here I feel like if this person uh, that's coming in or this new person here with this king of cups is someone that you may possibly live a distance from so there could be some traveling in between here especially with this um, six of wands person being on a horse there could be a traveling distance that um, is between you two and then we have the healing family issues um, so here this uh, trusting uh, w reading the paperwork you know watching being uh, being um, aware of that deception deceptive type of energy okay um, it could be a situation where you've always trusted people or you uh, always felt like people were honest, okay? But uh, just remember that there are some dishonest people out here that uh, will take advantage of you. So make sure you're paying attention to that as well. And if it's a situation where maybe you've dealt with some overburdening issues of maybe holding your family down or taking care of somebody, you felt like you were carrying a load for somebody else, it's time to release that and move forward here. So I do see that as well. That's another message they're giving me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, they said acknowledge the animals here. Okay. Uh, so we do have a, uh, a dove and we have the black cat, another owl, and a wolf. Okay. And this here. So again, make sure you're looking up your spirit animals. Okay. Um, let's do... Let's do the soul judgment card. Any other messages for Leo? Any other messages for Leo? Alright, so we have acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. We also have peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Let's do one more. I have another one, thank you. Doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Yeah, again, you're moving forward here. Whatever this is, you're moving forward. Let's see. Any last messages for Leo? Get your couple angel answers. See, communicate clearly. Again, make sure you're communicating. Uh, that communication also represents that paperwork or document that you're going to be signing. Ask for help from others. Don't be afraid to ask for an extra set of eyes to look it over. We also have compromise, okay? So um, there could be a, um, something in the, the wait, tell me about these legal documents or the signing of something. There might be a compromise in there. If you believe, things will happen for you if you continue to believe. Anything else? And in the near future. This is all happening in the near future here, okay? So um, be, be ready for it, all right? <laughs> be ready, it's happening. So this is your reading, Leah. I hope this gives you some clarity and some insight, guys. I thank you so much for watching. Make sure you smash the like button down below. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.